Nero pushed his wife down the stairs and uh, then he had Sporus castrated and he married him instead. Do you want to come with me, Sporus? And he gave him a ring and he made him dress up like his dead wife. Wow. Plot twist, didn't see that coming. I got a dick the size of a red sequoia and I fuck like a bullet train, okay? Satisfied? Prove it. Can we have some more wine, please? You trying to seduce me, Tom? <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am, Greg. <laughs> what am I gonna do with a soul anyways? Souls are boring. <laughs> Boo, souls. <laughs> Maybe you'll, you'd want to trade? Maybe, maybe you'll meet a wealthy widow and you can seduce her with your sad eyes. Is it... Is it possible you might... With me? Are you asking if you can... hook your bauble of corporate wrongdoing on one of my branches, Greg? I just thought if... If it won't make much difference to you... Fine, okay. Load me up, you piece of shit. No quid pro quo, just... And I'll look after you, all right? I'm serious. That's... That's incredibly kind of you. I'd castrate you and marry you in a heartbeat. Are you okay, Tom? Hey, see if you can wrestle me to the ground, Greg. No. Come on. I don't want come to. Come on. Come on, let's fight like chickens. No, I... Come on! Come on! Come on, let's have a little punching match. No, no. I... <laughs> come on, fight me like okay. a rooster, hey, you weakling. Care, please? Tom, stop. Come on. Stop. stop. Oh, I don't Dude, want to, man. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. 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 Neither do I, Greg. It was a joke, you idiot! Well, just, I haven't seen you smile in like six hours. You don't have to smile to be happy, Greg. I'm enjoying very much thinking about myself and my own various skills and abilities. Why are you so happy? Me? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, actually, because I, uh, I have met the most wonderful girl in the world. Ken's PR, with the, the hair always kind of in a messy... Gregory John Hirsch. You got a crush? Oh my god. What? I don't know, I, I'm excited about my date, I like her. You shouldn't even be really thinking about her. You're gonna put her in a tough spot. I guess it's, it's not a finite pie, we can both be happy. Uh-huh, sure. But it's supposed to be me that's happy and it's you. How did that happen? Huh? I took the wrong drugs in the wrong order and I can't get happy. Well, can't you just be happy you're free? No, because you've ruined it. How have I ruined it? I don't know. You just have. I think Tom's a little bit in love with Greg. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's best as a mystery. I think genuinely, joking aside, I think Tom really, really likes Greg. The, 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 he loves so Greg broken. and he really loves Greg. Yeah. Sort of, like... This is what I'm going to do. And suddenly it's clear and I don't feel scared and I'm going to get Greg to come on board with me. Because <laughs> I love Greg. And... I think Tom really likes Greg. I think Tom, I think he sort of can't help but sort of bully him now and again when he's feeling bad. I sort of almost doesn't know he's doing it. Um, but I think he really genuinely feels a sort of affection for Greg and would like to be better friends with him, you know. And would like, and likes the idea of being a sort of father figure, being a sort of mentor to, to, um, to Greg.